What's up fam, it's Brian Castrillo. Just watched Tales of the Walking Dead, episode six, season finale. And this episode was fucking amazing. From the from the writing, um, to the directing, to the acting, to the cinematography, to the special effects. Holy shit. Yeah. But, um, so many reasons to love this. It was easy. This is one of my favorite episodes within the Walk Dead universe of the entire walk. This, this episode was a fucking 10 out of 10. Absolutely amazing. I love this, um, favorite of this, this first season. Um, also being Hispanic um, Heritage Month, which starts from September 15th to October 15th. Loving, as a fellow Latino, I'm loving the Latino representation in this episode. And this this thing was spooky and creepy as shit. Um, and this could honestly stand with a lot of horror films. Like, I was literally on edge for this entire episode. I could not turn away. I was completely focused and all in in this episode from from start to finish absolutely amazing hats off to everybody involved in this episode because it was absolutely fucking amazing and i loved it um and i'm gonna just i want to give a shout out to everybody involved in this but here's the acting was eric who played danny ramirez which by the way was in top gun um so i thought that was cool seeing him here um idalia played by daniela pineda um, La Donia, who was played by Julie Carmen, and Maria, who was played by Iris Almario. The, it was directed by Deborah Kempmeyer and written by Lindsay Valeria. If I messed up any of those names, I apologize. Um, but absolutely amazing. Everybody involved. This episode was phenomenal. Um, yeah, this is, I was creeped out on edge throughout this whole, and I have not felt this in quite a while in any type of horror element. And by the way, as a huge fan of the Walking Dead universe and horror genre in general, I just want to let you guys know I am part of this big horror competition called The Face of Horror. I would love it if I could have your vote. The link is in the um, in the video's description. Check that out. You can vote free every 24 hours. Um, that's really kind of all I'm asking from you. But if you want, there is a way to purchase votes, which that goes to... Um, families dealing with pediatric cancer, but um, yeah, please consider me for that. You can check the link and I would really appreciate it, guys. But let's get back to this episode because I absolutely fucking loved it. Um, we start off in, we see um, Idalia and Eric and they're, it's really dark. It's nighttime and there's, you know, people coming after. I thought they were walkers, you know, they're taking them out and left and right. And immediately, like, I'm thinking... The way the camera is just, you know, panning to this, the way the fights are happening in the woods, the the mist and everything about the opening scene was absolutely creepy. And I knew from that moment, I'm going to love this episode. Um, and like I said, this is the best of the um, entire six episodes for this first season for Tales of the Walking Dead. But, and a lot of... Um, a lot of great camera angles. The cinematography was great. There was this one part where they're walking away and you see this walker behind who was, that was Maria. And she's like, they're kind of going uphill. And then the camera, you know, is fa you know facing down and you see Maria down there, the walker who is following them. And they clearly know who she is at this point. And they're saying, you know, that's Maria. And Eric's like, who cares? Don't worry about him. You know, her, she's not, she's far away. But then they're going through the woods and then, um, Idalia brings up this house that she knows and and she mentions there's a witch there um and he and she's like but we can only stay there one night and Eric's like why you know this is the apocalypse I'm just gonna ask her um to let us stay there and they're kind of going back and forth a little bit about this but um eventually they get to this place and there's this big gate it's you know completely filled with m fog and mist and immediately I'm thinking about Jesus's final episode this whole area reminded me of that and and I I miss Jesus like he was such an amazing character um and I wish he was still here with the walking dead that that scene was absolutely amazing one of my best um as mu as much as it pained me to lose Jesus that was one of the best death scenes in the entire walking dead universe but but I digress. Let's get on with this. Um, so they go into this. They're going towards the house as they're walking up to it, completely filled by mo uh, mist and fog. And 
And by the way, everything about this led to the creepiness. Like the musical score was was absolutely amazing. And as they're walking, you know, about to go into the house, you see these candles. They're all over in the windows, um, adding to the creepiness. And you hear this whisper um, about death. And and again, it's getting very creepy, clearly, because there's candles that are lit. Someone is in there and they're going through the house. Again, hats off to the cameraman in this. Just the cinematography was amazing. I, I cannot rave about this enough. This episode was fucking fantastic. And, you know, they're going through the, the hallways with the gun. The, the musical score has me on edge. And finally, this woman comes out. I'm jumping. Which, by the way, there was, there was quite a few jumps scares in this um but they were perfectly placed like the pacing in this episode was also fantastic like my goodness um but they finally meet her and you know idelia is talking to her and saying you know how we you know we need to stay a night and she's like well how did you even know where i was i'm you know not many people even know i'm here there's walls around this whole thing and then she says mentions how maria told her um and this this woman, Ladonia, she's very skeptical of this, uh, but she agrees to let him, and she says, you can stay one night, but you must leave. Go ahead and wash yourselves up, because they had blood all over their face. Um, and Eric's like, you got running water? And he's all excited, and I'm like, wow, this still exists in this this world? So they go and, um, you know, wash up, then they come back to the, the table. She's got some sort of stew or or broth or some sort of meal that she's prepared for him because she has food and everything in this in this world she has chickens outside um like this woman is completely prepared like just absolutely amazing um again i just want to say i love that the latino representation in this um which now is um hispanic heritage month which runs from september 15th to october 15th so i'm already loving it just from that aspect being a fellow latino my grandfather is from nicaragua so just seeing that and hearing um just some of the references and the of course the language I, I i absolutely love this um but then eric like he he's getting frustrated how he can only stay there one night he's, he's basically i don't understand why can't you just let us stay you know it's only three of us you know, there's no big deal. This is, you're going to send us out to die. And he's getting frustrated. She said no. And then finally she says, you know what? You guys can just leave now. Um, and he, he gets upset. He, and this moment made me jump because he gets up and he goes to like kind of grab her arm, but it must have scared her. She has a heart attack, turns around and, and falls face first into the table. Blood splattered everywhere, landed on Idelia's neck. I thought she was bleeding at first, but that was from Ladonia. And, you know, then... At first, like, oh my God, what are we going to do? And and then after a while, Eric, you know, Eric's like, you know, this is our house. Um, it's no longer hers. Um, you know, we didn't kill her, but this is in front of us. We can stay here now. And But, she, you know, Idelia is creeped out about this. And keep in mind, there's like all this, um, you know, Religious relics everywhere. You got pictures with candles around them. And so Idelia goes to pray and she, you know, in front of this picture, she took out the old lady's photo and then she, I, I don't know if that was her, hers um, that she put in there, but she's praying. Um, and then you hear, this is my house. And again, the, with the whispers. And of course I'm thinking of the whispers um, because again, like that, that scene with Jesus' death, which... That was the whispers too, and man, I miss him. Um, but throughout this whole episode, there is so many things that just adds to the general scariness and creepiness. And I have honestly not felt this in a while. I don't know if I'm desensitized to horror or what, but absolutely brilliant fucking job in this. I I loved it. Like I am blown away, and and this episode can literally stand with a lot of the scary horror films that are out there in this genre. Like, well done. <laughs> Thank you for this episode. Um, some of the creepy things that we see is there's a moment where I tell you, she's sitting down, she's, she has, I believe what a rosary beads on her. Um, and 
again with the camera, it, it pans up as she's sitting down and you see all these Jesus, um, you know, on the cross and they start coming, get jumping down and they're crawling all over. And <laughs> immediately I, I'm creeped out by this. There is a, a moment where, you know, Eric goes to claim the bed and she's like, you know, this isn't your house. Even though she's dead, this is her bed. We can't do this. And Eric's like, we haven't slept in a bed for a while. Um, she's gone. This is no big deal. This is in your head. Because she's talking about, you know, the different things that she sees. And eventually they fall asleep and you wake up. And then you, the again with the camera pans over and and sees Ladonia just standing over there like she's about to attack. And, oh, really creepy. Then you got the moment where I did... Um, Idalia goes into the the fog and she needs to take a walk because um but before she does that he sees the rosary beads on her and he says what you're religious now and she's like I am now and but when she goes out there you hear the whispers you hear um walkers you hear Ladonia speaking and she's like think she takes a knife and she's trying to stab everywhere cause she thinks they're all around her um but no, nothing's there um, and same thing with the G, like she turns back and there was nothing there. There was a moment where, you know, she goes down into the basement and you see all these vines with, I, I don't know if there were thorns on them or whatnot. And she's walking through, immediately had Blair Witch vibes and fuck, that was good. Um, this scene and, and you're going, you're going through and then all of a sudden the walker goes to grab her and it's Ladonia as a walker and I'm getting creeped up in um, goosebumps just like talking about this episode because it was so good. Eventually, Eric and they go back down and and it's nothing there. He's like, see, it's it's you know, it's all in your head. And Maria's clearly, you know, she's going nuts. Um, then they find, you know, Eric finds a bird and this bird's like, what did you do? What? Did, and he's like, um, you know, what the hell? But eventually towards the end he starts hearing things and there's another creepy moment which was clearly a nod to Romero at least in my head that's what I saw um of course remind me of the scene with Beta but where the hand comes up right through the you know the ground and then she starts crawling out holy shit that scene was done perfectly the way she came out of the gr you know the grave and and then you see walkers coming behind her everyone's cut you know coming after them and then there was a moment where Eric and this this is and I apologize if this is not in order but like like I said this whole episode gave me chills Ladonia gave me chills goosebumps throughout the whole thing but there's a moment where Eric goes to the the gate and he sees Maria and and he's like what the hell you know you're dead we we seen you um dead and and he, um, and I'm going to get back to a scene that was right before that, but he's, he looks down and her ankle's broken and it's bleeding. And then, um, he's getting ready to let her in. Cause Maria's saying, you know, let me in, let, we can all be, do this, you know, be together. But then just at the moment, last moment, a pickaxe comes through and that's Idelia takes down the walker, which is Maria. And, and he's all, you know, scared and, and he's like kind of taken out on her. So both of them are now like having mind games on them. They're going back and forth. But right before that, he's walking through and he sees all these pictures and having these flashbacks of the moment from that first, the first scene. And instead of walkers, we're learning that these are actually humans that they were killing. And, and they weren't walkers and they were actually killing real people. Um, so they clearly had a pass. They, they did something. Um, and then finally at the end, the, she shows up and she comes in the house they're running and she shows up as a walker then finally she just turns back into um a human and she's like even in death this is my house get out and she uses basic kind of supernatural powers at least that's what we're seeing and being dragged back into that area where you know we saw her as a walker and there was another scene in that area like down in the cellar where i was getting the blair witch vibes where we saw those other people as walkers but now they're being dragged to this this area and you see the walkers grabbing at them and then they start um, basically attacking each other and stab like stabbing each other. They think they're attacking the walkers because 
it is all playing in their minds. But they, at the end, it pans out, and they're both dead. They're laying there, and holy, just holy shit, this episode's fucking good. Ladonia is fucking amazing. Wow, that's that, I, I, again, I got chills. Um, but yeah. I, I'm gonna watch this one again because I absolutely loved it. I don't know if I missed Easter eggs. Did you guys see Easter eggs? Let me know in the comments. Um, what did you guys, did you love this episode as much as I did? Um, just absolutely wow. But but yeah, um, again, don't forget to, if you can, vote for me in the face of horror. I would really appreciate it. Um, if you can, you know, share it. Just make sure you, um, if you can vote, you can vote free every 24 hours. Um, and I would really appreciate it. But in every one of these reviews I do, I give a shout out to one of my friends. And this one is going out to Linda Athens. Um, you might know her as Fan Art Lindy. She is absolutely brilliant artist. Um, and she and her art has come a long way. Like every time she posts like a new photo that, she, or not photo, a new art piece of artwork that she's done, it it's, it's like she's just progressively getting better and better. I mean, she was amazing from the first time art that I seen of her and just, it just keep getting better and better. She's absolutely brilliant. Check out, I'm going to put her links in below. You will love her. I promise. Um, check out her art. Um, if you love art, it, it'd be a perfect gift, you know, coming up for Christmas season, but yeah, holy, holy shit. I love Ladonia. Fucking amazing episode. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. TWD family for life.